Happy Friday. Uh, trading week is coming to a close. We've got our last session coming up. Uh, the time now is uh, 10 minutes after 8 Eastern. Um, so we're about an hour and a half, hour 20 minutes away from uh, North American markets opening. Um, and as you can see, we spent the night basically struggling to get to and above 43. Um, there was a sh brief attempt um, at around uh, 4 a.m. Uh, Eastern. Um, but basically it just couldn't hold the level and it's been dropping and uh, it's just started to drop and Like I said yesterday, I'm expecting to see 42 below 4270 um, We just dropped about 20 cents uh, or Yeah, about 20 cents um, in the past uh, five minutes here um, to a low of 4274 basically um, at at uh, where we were um, where the session opened so it's going to struggle a little bit just to just because it's going to end up having to go from green to red um, so that sort of psychology has an effect on traders as we know and uh, it will struggle here for a little bit um, but I do expect to see a range of um, between 4250 and 4230 um, that's kind of my expectation um, I'm a buyer anywhere in that range. Um, to be honest, I'm probably a buyer anywhere below 4270. Um, the smart play today is really to wait for Europe to close at 11:30 a.m. Eastern. Um, whatever we are to see today is probably going to um, materialize leading up to Europe's closing. So if you have more patience than I do, then you know that's really the smart play. Um, but likely if we are kind of 42, 42.40-ish um, leading into close, um, Europe's close, I'll probably just buy there. Um, I don't expect us to test 42. I certainly don't believe that we're going to crack below 42 today. Um, there's just too much speculation on both sides, um, bulls and bears, um, for that to happen today, especially on a Friday. So I just don't see it happening and I think that we're going to get a rally back either it would be really nice to see it after Europe's close but if not then I think we're going to see it um, early next week before Wednesday's news. So that's my play. Uh, I'm still bullish um, overall long term I'm bullish. I think we're going up to you know the high 40s hopefully the low 50s. Um, but it might take a few months, so it all depends on what your time frame is. Um, if you're a bear, um, it might be a good day to take a quick profit. Um, but my advice to the bears out there, if you're not already in, then um, you know don't be too greedy. Take your profits quickly. Um, if we, you know, if you get in at these sorts of prices or even better than these sorts of prices, and you see us getting anywhere close to the 42 level. Don't bet on it cracking. Take your profits. Um, we're going to bounce around in this range anyway, so you can take your profits, wait for the bounce back up, repurchase your short, and play the game again. Um, that's kind of my approach. It's been my strategy for uh, for quite some time. And taking profits and not counting on you being right is generally the way to play um, crude oil. Uh, yeah, don't think you know something that others don't. It's 50-50 no matter what you believe. If you bet the farm on your beliefs, you're probably going to lose the farm. Uh, so with that, um, I'm going to be watching to see where we open. Um, if we open near my targets, you know, below 42.50, I may just buy right there. And uh, in that case, I wouldn't be surprised if we rally um, for the entire day. Uh, that's the other scenario. So yeah, uh, either Either we, we don't drop until close to Europe's close or we drop prior to North American Open. If we drop prior to North American Open, I'm not going to see that as a bearish, overly bearish sentiment, meaning that we're going to go below 42. I, I don't know. I just, and my, my gut says that that's not going to happen today. You got to believe in something. Um, I'd be a buyer if we open below 42.50 right there. Um, so I'll let you guys know what happens in my case. Um, I hope it works out to everybody's advantage, no matter if you're a bull or bear today. 
and uh, I'll touch base with you guys near or at your North America closing at 4 p.m. today. Good luck to all. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to stay tuned. Use the comments down below on YouTube or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca if you'd like to check out my portfolio and trade details. And cheers. Cheers.